Kantai Collection, abbreviated as Kankalei, or whatever the hell you say, is a Japanese free-to-play web browser game developed by Kadokawa Games and published by DMM.com. Okay, so... Now, this game was launched on April 23rd, 2013. Yeah, almost 10 years ago. As of April 2015, the game is available in Japan only and has 3 million registered players. And, and uh, okay. And what I gotta say, well, even though I do not, um, do not watch, uh, or any play or whatever the fuck it is, or heard of it that much, but once again, yeah. It sure is an, an one of those anime franchises that are that's end up being memorable, and no one can resist. Okay, so let's get on with it. This is once again going out to everyone who loves anime. The central theme of the game is representation of World War II warships, person personified as teenage girls and young adult women with personality characteristics reflecting the history of each ship. Originally, all of these were Japanese, but ships from other nations have also been added as the game has developed. Gameplay ins ins involves all aspects of uh, naval warfare, including not only combat, but also maintenance, repair, upgrading, resupply, morale, logistics, and mission planning. As of April 2015, uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I already said that. Okay, an Android client of the original game was released in 2016. The game was developed into March, a larger media franchise. Various media, including multiple manga series and light novels, have been released. In addition to an official licensed you know, tabletop role playing game, a PlayStation Vita game was released in February 2016. In the anime television series, aired its first season from January, February to March 2015 with an animated film released on November 2016 in a second season that will premiere, uh, that did premiere of November of last year. Okay, so uh, I may focus on the gameplay and I'm also going to talk about the, um, the anime uh, concepts itself as well. The gameplay is centered upon building squadrons composed of individual characters represented as cards with different attributes, and then sending said squadrons out on missions. Each of the characters are Mo anthropomorphisms of World War II naval warships, which are depicted as cute girls, known as fleet girls. These personified warships are based on real-life vessels which are explained in detail within the game. Physical characteristics, appearances, and personalities of each of the girls uh, correlate in some way to the real-life vessel. For example, ships with a larger displacement tonnage, you know, such as cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers, are usually depicted as young women, while smaller ships, such as destroyers and coastal defense ships, look like look and behave like pubescent girls, with a few exceptions. All right, the player progresses through the game and by advancing through maps, gaining experience points through grinding, obtaining new fleet girls will repair and resupply existing ones, and fulfilling quests to obtain resources. New equipment can be crafted, allowing the fleet girls to equip different ar armaments depending on the situation. Okay. Construction, resupply, and repair of ships is reliant upon four types of resources, namely fuel, ammunition, steel, and bow, bowsite. I don't know what the fuck it pronounce. These supplies will gradually increase automatically as time passes. Well, shit. They better rack the fuck up the experience. Nobody wants to get shit-faced like that when it comes to you know, weakened moments in this bitch. All right, ships can be customized through the addition of various equipment within uh, empty slots, which add attribute bonuses and even provide special effects in some cases, such as equipment include naval guns, anti-aircraft guns, torpedoes, fighter aircraft, steam turbines, special artillery shells, depth charges, 
drum canisters, etc. The effectiveness of ships in combat depend on its attribute parameters. Armor, evasion, attack range, firepower, torpedo, line of sight, luck, etc. Alright. And now let, uh, let's focus on, on a TV series, shall we? Okay. So in the anime series... In a world where humanity faces the threat of the ab uh, abyssal fleet, which has taken over the seas, special human girls who don weaponized outfits and possesses the spirit of historical naval vessels, known as kan kamusu, kanmusu, literally fleet girls or ship girls, are the only ones capable of countering them. The kanmusu live together at a naval base. Uh, where they, or novel, or whatever the hell you mean, uh, where they spend their everyday lives as they begin training for battle. All right, and the plot for season one, the series features a destroyer, uh, Fubuki, as the main character, with the storyline based on her point of view. Fubuki arrives at the naval base where she meets other girls that she will eventually fight alongside. Despite lacking adequate combat training, she is recommended to the 3rd Torpedo Squadron by the Admiral, and quickly finds herself uh, sorted, sort tied into battle. Upon being rescued by Akagi in a dangerous situation, Fubuki strives to do her best in order to train, with the hopes of eventually being able to fight alongside Akagi. Okay, so the characters... Okay... Fubuki is a newcomer destroyer to the naval base and assigned to the 3rd Torpedo Squadron. Uh, Mutsuki, one of the members of the 3rd Torpedo Squadron. She is later transferred to the 4th Fleet. Yudachi, another destroyer of the 3rd Torpedo Squadron, and later transferred to Naka's fleet during Operation FS. Uh, Kisaragi, another destroyer who is instead assigned to the 4th Torpedo Squadron. And, okay. And even more mature and older than her older sister, Mutsuki. And Yai Mochizuki, two destroyers whom Fubuki and Mutsuki met during the brief session of the W Island Raid. Okay. I may not get all the characters uh, um, uh, named in, but well, let, let's see the the character designs. All right, the character designs uh, look uh, look perfect and crystal clear at its best. And wait a second, did I just see fucking Haruhi Suzumiya right on this picture? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you peeps. Uh, but seriously, it looks uh, very perfect and crystal clear. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, nice animation, very smooth, very perfect to know. And uh, yeah, and I also seen that their artworks uh, that are a little uh, too little, too lewd, but it, but don't wanna, but don't wanna hear it. And there's also cute uh, pictures of it. Okay, so according to Google, ninety-one percent of everyone uh, like this show my anime list uh, gave it a 6.8 out of 10 crunchy roll gave it a 4.3 out of 5 and imdb gave it um a 6 out of 10 man kante collection does have astounding concepts of manga anime and gameplay even the characters are looking good oh my god an anime with world war ii elements and female characters rolled into one this rocks our asses off the more the warships upgrade, the more of enjoyment of pounding most noobs possible. Cool graphics, cool gameplay, even the cards look as good as gold, and why could we resist those limited edition deals that you can't get in the unlockables booth? I really can't get my eyes off of this manga book that I'm reading right now. The illustrations of Conte Collection is pumping my veins for moments more to come. I fucking love this franchise. What I love the most is the soundtrack of the Conte Collection. No wonder why it's that popular. What I like most is the video games, even though I have it on my phone, 
I just got the Japanese region console of a PlayStation Vita and a Japanese import of the Kante Collection game, it's kicking our shit shoots every time. What part one like about Kante Collection the most is the anime TV show, I have just seen one episode, to see if I love it or not, it turns out that I love the TV show. And, yeah, well, I might be simping one, um, uh, with this one when I'm going to say this, but my f uh, favorite character uh, from the Kantai Collection franchise is uh, Suzuya. Yeah, Suzuya with the Hatsune Miku colored hair and eyes. Yeah, damn, she looks cute as hell. Yep, I'm fucking simping. And I apologize if that disturbs you. <laughs> How sweet. Mason having a big crush on Suzawaya. I fucking heard that more again. Oh fuck you Mason, I was messing around a little bit. Can't you tell? Alright my fellow peeps, so in conclusion, I recommend Kantai Collection. Yeah, the um, yeah the games and the anime series. But if you don't like any of them, well, uh, that's all right. But if you do like the character, some of the characters, like Suzuya, for example, hey, yeah, that's fine with me. But once again, I recommend it uh, for everyone who who could not stop thinking about anime or watching anime, for that matter. <laughs>